Hi guys, it's me again, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to continue solving problem 2.34 of Griffith's 4th edition. So the problem reads, find the energy stored in a uniformly charged solid sphere of radius R and charge Q. And we're going to do it in three different ways. So previously, we already solved problem A. And then let's say, and this, in this video, we're going to use uh, the second method. Wherein we're going to use equation 2.43 and we're not going to, uh, but the integration that we're going to do is for all space. So what, what is equation 2.45? Equation 2.45 is given by w so that's the energy stored and it should be equal to uh, epsilon naught over 2 times the integral of uh, magnitude of the electric field squared d tau and this integral is done for all space okay so that means we need to know the electric field due to this uniformly charged sphere of radius r so if we're going to integrate all space so therefore we're going to know we need to uh, use specific uh, expressions for electric field for for all possible regions in this configuration so in this case, there are two regions that we should look into. One is inside, and the another one would be outside. And we already know that the electric field inside would be equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times Q over capital R cube R r hat so again this is for r less than r and is also equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times q over r squared r hat for r greater than r okay so we already found this before in our previous examples using gauss law okay so that means the energy stored We'll now have two terms. So this is epsilon naught over 2 times, okay, correct? This is equal to one, uh, epsilon naught over 2 times integral of e squared d tau plus epsilon naught over 2 times uh, integral of e squared d tau. So in this case, this will be for the inside and this is for the outside okay so this is now equal to epsilon naught over 2 times integral of 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q over capital R cube R squared d tau would be r squared sine theta dr d theta dv then okay and then this is plus epsilon naught over 2 times integral of 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q over r squared squared d tau which is this one so this is r squared sine theta dr d theta d phi okay so what will happen there is that of course the theta and phi integration will just yield 4 pi 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught for both terms will also be taken out q squared will also be taken out of the integral okay 
okay so this one becomes uh, 4 pi epsilon naught over 2 times q over 4 pi epsilon naught squared times the integral of uh, r to the fourth over r to the sixth dr evaluated from 0 to r and then plus integral of dr over r squared evaluated from r to infinity okay so right now we're not going to the details of the integration because this is a very uh, very basic integration so what do we now have here is that one of the four pi epsilon naughts here will cancel here so this is q squared over 2 times 4 pi epsilon naught times uh, 1 over r plus 1 over r uh, 5r which gives us uh, 1 over r plus 1 fifth over r so this becomes um, and this becomes uh, what so this becomes 6 right 6 over 5 R and then that 6 over 5 R so this is Q squared over 2 4 pi epsilon naught times 6 over 5 R right Two will cancel with six this becomes three so we end up with the expression that we obtained earlier so that's one over four pi epsilon naught times three q squared over five r okay so similar to what we uh, obtained from letter a wherein we use equation 2.43 to find the energy stored using equation 2.45 we were able to obtain the same results using a different equation okay so again this is the energy stored in a uniformly charged solid sphere of radius r and charge q okay so the uh, the, uh, the original problem uh, the original problem 2.34 has letter c and i will leave it to your uh, own exercise okay so that's it thank you for watching i hope you learned something today and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye